Okay, I have something that I want to share with you. When John came home from work this evening, he was like, I have something for you. And honestly, usually that means that he brought me a cookie or a brownie because they have a lot of drug reps who come and then they bring them food and John brings me food. It's a wonderful perk. But this is actually really neat and I want to share it with you because if you have a kid with allergies, like I do, or if you yourself have allergies, this could be very useful. And what it is, is a new EpiPen. Crazy, right? I know it looks like a box of cigarettes, but it's not. It's a new EpiPen. And it works so cool. As you know, the usual EpiPen actually looks like a pen. And I'm always a little scared to use it, because I don't think I'll do a very good job. It seems complicated. But this device is not complicated at all. And if you have your child in daycare or something like that, or with a caregiver a lot of the time, this will, I think, ease your mind. It would ease mine. If like my mom had to watch him, I would feel a lot better about having this kind of EpiPen. So I'll show you how it works. It's going to talk to you. But it, the whole bit about it being a training model, um, obviously the real one wouldn't say that. And the real one doesn't look like this. It's gray and white because it's the training model. The real one, um, the adult is like a bright red and the kids is a blue. So they do have a junior in this new model as well. And when Bennett's expires in November, we're totally getting this kind. So fits in your pocket, nice size. And all you do is you pop it out like this. This trainer contains no needle or drug. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. Where it says pull? If to inject, place black end against outer thigh. Then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Injection complete. This trainer may be reused for training purposes. Replace the red safety guard and gray outer case. Replace it here. Um, so obviously you wouldn't do it in your arm. You would do it in your thigh if you were having an allergic reaction. But how incredibly cool is that? It's like the defibrillators that just talk you through it so that anybody could do it. You could just be like, here, I'm having an allergic reaction. Will you help me? And somebody could very easily do this for you or do it for your child. I cannot wait for us to have one of our own because these things, seriously, um, I'm afraid I would inject myself. And John was actually saying that there are a lot of people who do inject themselves with these ones because of the way they're designed. That is what the drug rep told him, is that a lot of people accidentally inject themselves in their thumb when they're supposed to be injecting their friend. And that is not what you want to do, obviously, when you're trying to save somebody from an allergic reaction. And the other cool thing I think about this, um, I think it would be very easy for a child who is five or six to do it themselves if they had to. If they were in a situation where they had to, I think they could very easily do it themselves. So I just wanted to share it with you. Because I know some of you have allergies, and I know some of you have kids with allergies, like I do. Um, just today, while we were at the library, Bennett picked something up off the floor and ate it. And I was like, I have no idea what you just ate. And we came home, and he was itchy, and we did the Benadryl thing and everything. And he's fine, but you know when you have a kid with allergies that you can't always know what they're going to eat. And you can't always know that this kid, some kid they're playing with at the playground doesn't have like peanut butter or something like it on their hands. So I'm super excited to get our a new EpiPen in November when our current one expires. And the price on this, um, I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I do know that it's comparable to the current EpiPen, um, if not the exact same price. So the pricing is comparable as well.